May 19th, High Court of Corrine, Accused Lobby. We're lucky the ambulance made it in time, but we've been forced into a recess for now while things get straightened out. I can't, I can't believe what just happened. Tell me about it. Do you think Garan put that guard up to it? If she did, she's going to regret it. No one gets away with something like that on my watch. Poor Queen Amara. Your benevolence. Any news on her condition? She is undergoing surgery at the hospital as we speak. They are giving her a 50-50 chance of survival. That Garan. Justice will be served. Why? Why did this happen? Uh, just as we were finally reunited. Oh, Queen Amara. Um, what was that about being reunited? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Right. How are you, Hornhead? Dirk Sadmati was your father in all but blood, after all. Thank you for your concern, your benevolence. But I'm fine. Right now, we still have a trial to see through. So that's what I'm going to stay focused on. Hornhead, you are sturdier than your stature lets on. Just don't overdo it, okay, Apollo? Dirk, that was a real shocker, all right. Can't believe the dragon is dead. Dats, say AJ, I was wondering, when Dirk disappeared after I freed him, that's because Amara turned back into herself, right? Yeah, I suppose so. But I don't know if it was because Dirk's spirit willed it, or if it was a part of Garan or, Amar or Amara's plan. Man, our dream of revolution. Now what are we gonna do? Is this it? Don't give up yet. There is a very good chance that Garan is the real culprit in all this. And if we can prove her guilt in court, hey, you're right. That could be just the push we need. The dream lives on. Yes, it does. You know what that means, AJ? The fate of the revolution rests squarely on your shoulders. <laughs> All in a day's work. Ugh, who am I kidding? That's a ton of pressure. But this is what Dirk gave his life for, so I have to do this for him. The Honorable Rebel Dirk Sadmati. I would have loved to have spoken with him while he yet lived. Really? <gasps> Why not? I mean, he seemed like quite an interesting man. Did she bump her head or something earlier? The trial is about to resume. The defense is to report to the courtroom at once. Already? After what just happened? The first thing Garan will do is respond to that last accusation. So you better stay on your toes, Apollo. I will, Mr. Wright. Ready or not, Garan, here comes justice. May 19th, High Court of Corrine. Now then, let us resume today's proceedings. Huh? Where's Neyuta? I must offer my apologies. I never imagined a royal guardsman would do such a thing. What? He wasn't acting under your orders? How dare you cast such suspicion upon her evidence? It is quite alright, your majesty. Suspicion is only natural under such circumstances. But rest assured that he acted alone, for I knew nothing of his plans. I don't believe that for a second. Now then, your majesty, regarding the murder of my husband, Minister Inga, I would like to offer a new possibility. A new possibility, you say? Indeed, for during the break, the real killer confessed to me. What? Bailiff, call the witness to the stand. The real killer confessed? What she got up to her upper sleeve this time? I have a really bad feeling about this. It can't be. 
Ne yuta! He's the one who confessed? Prosecutor Sabmati, you're the real killer? I questioned him during the recess as I felt that Amara had been covering for someone. So it was that he finally confessed his crime to me. Neyuta, you didn't really do it, did you? Her eminence speaks the truth. It was I who killed Justice Minister Inga. Neyuta! Peace! Prosecutor Satmadi, are you absolutely certain about this? A confession of this nature is grave indeed. Yes, I am certain. For I killed him by my own hand. <laughs> At last, the real killer has been revealed. How are we supposed to respond to this? Neyuta, retract your confession! Now! Mr. Justice, it is not yet time for your cross-examination. Who cares about that? Admit it! It was Queen Garan who put you up to this! She forced you into giving a confession, didn't she? Talk to them. You are out of line, Mr. Justice. Learn some self-restraint. But... Or do you have something that might prove that I did not commit this murder? I... I... That is... Ugh. What do you think you're doing, you idiot? Truly, the truth can set us free. Looks like Garan got to him somehow. I definitely didn't see this coming. Neyuta, why are you doing this? Why would you sacrifice even your life to do Garan's bidding? Whatever the case may be, Prosecutor Sadmati, your testimony, please. Witness testimony. Neyuta's confession. I could not remain silent while her eminence fell under suspicion for this crime. It was I who murdered Justice Minister Inga. He had to die for the future of crime. I consider it divine judgment cast upon a fiend who sought it to assassinate our monarch. My mother was simply covering for me. I am ashamed I let her go so far for my sake. You do understand what you're doing, right? You're sentencing yourself to death if you're found guilty. If that is the court's verdict, then so be it. I must obey the law above all else. The law, Neyuta, or the queen? Objection! Enough! This blather has nothing to do with the witness's testimony. Please address any issues you may have during the cross-examination, defense. Oh, I will. I'm gonna blow his problematic testimony to smithereens! We are in the end game now. For sure. I could not remain silent while her eminence fell under suspicion for this crime. It was I who murdered Justice Minister Inga. He had to die for the future of crime. I consider it divine judgment cast upon a fiend who sought to assassinate our monarch. My mother was simply covering for me. I am ashamed I let her go so far for my sake. Hold it! This is also the last cross-examination. So you killed Minister Inga and Queen Amara staged a crime? Is that how it went? Precisely. My mother is as clever as she is kind. She sought to conceal my crime by taking all of the guilt upon herself. Yet another lie. I need to poke a hole in his testimony, but how? Neyuta, could it be that you didn't know Neyna's real identity? You didn't realize that Nana was actually Queen Amara, your own mother? That is not as strange as you might think. 
Much time had passed since we last met, after all. Right. 23 years ago, was it? When Dirk saved her after the supposed assassination attempt? No, Mr. Justice. It was 15 years ago that Dirk abducted my mother. Huh? That's weird. Are you sure about that? I remember it clearly. I was around 10 years old at the time. Neyuta, please add that last statement to your testimony. I was reunited with my mother, Queen Amara, 15 years ago when Dirk abducted her. Yeah, but something about that is full of holes, so as you know. Well, here goes everything. Objection! You're saying that Dirk made off with Queen Amara 15 years ago? But that's strange, because I heard something very different from Dirk. He said that they ran off together 23 years ago. That is impossible. I know for a fact it was 15 years ago. Well, I have evidence that contradicts your statement. How do you explain this photo? Dirk said it was taken 23 years ago. He said that? He did, but if we take what you just said as fact, then there's something in this photo that doesn't make any sense. Hmm, this isn't making any sense to me, so I suppose I should ask. What does not make any sense if the photo is only 15 years old? Simple. The baby. Take that! Neyuta, this discrepancy may not be directly related to this case, but I don't think we can simply overlook it either. Dirk said the baby in the photo was you. But that doesn't make any sense if the photo is only 15 years old. After all, you said you were around 10 then, right? <laughs> He's definitely sweating bullets over there over something. Apollo, if this baby is in Neyuta... Wait, you don't think... Did Queen Amara have another child while she was on the run? What? And just what if... That child were being held hostage. Neyuta, is that why you obey Queen Garan's every command? You presume too much. Ah, and that's why Queen Amara was trying to take the rap as well. To protect this other child. A child born 15 years ago. Hmm. They would have to be someone who's around 14 or 15 years old now. This is just a guess. But I believe I know someone who fits the bill. This also explains the strange behavior. This is the child who was born to Dirk and Queen Amara 15 years ago. Rafa Padma Kurai. All those strange statements she kept making. Now they all make sense. Prosecutor Sadmari, may I ask you something? Of course, Your Benevolence. I, um, I've been meaning to ask you this since yesterday. Did you know about Queen Amara? And about me? From where did you hear such a thing? From Mother, and only yesterday. Rafa was carrying on about telling the truth to the people, so I told her. I told her what the truth really was, for it is up to a mother to discipline her child. I see. I... I... cannot accept this! Is something the matter, your benevolence? Queen Amara's lying! It makes no sense! Queen Amara would not have killed my father! Why? Why did this happen? Just as we were finally reunited. Oh, Queen Amara. Now I see, Neyuta, why you do what you're told. The other child born to Dirk and Queen Amara was... Mr. Justice. 
I believe I know what you're about to say. But I cannot allow you to name an innocent soul as a child of terrible sinners. I thought you might try to stop me. After all, simply revealing this information endangers who you've been trying to protect. I think this should make it clear what I'm talking about. This is the chink in your armor, the reason why you fear for your sibling's reputation. And the only thing that fear fears that, Amara's assassination file. Take that! And that is? A file full of information that Dirt collected on what happened 23 years ago. A particular note right now is what's written here. The sins of the father are visited upon his children. This deeply held idea is why you were expelled from the royal family. Which means it wouldn't bode well for your sibling either. If she were revealed to be Dirk's daughter. Ugh. You became a prosecutor to bring down Queen Garan. But at some point you came to serve the very regime you despised. And that was because the queen found this chink in your armor. That's how she came to use your sister against you. I... I... Nehuta! Have you been keeping this secret all this time? Have you been trying to protect me? You are an innocent party to all this. I live only to safeguard the law and serve the country and queen from which it flows. One such as you, who is destined to ascend to the throne, need not fret over one such as I. No, I cannot accept that. What you say is, it's malarkey. Don't you even care what happens to you? Before country, queen, law, and everyone's future, my personal feelings are of no consequence. That is why I resigned myself to my fate. I know I must accept the status quo without any thoughts of change. Spoken like a true prosecutor and patriot, I shall continue to rule Karine until the day Rafa succeeds me, for that is what is best for our kingdom. I know your eminence. Yours is no small sacrifice, but I promise you this, in exchange for your life, the child shall remain safe, and the kingdom shall prosper. That is all I can ask for with my meager existence. Neyuta, is this really the new you? Resigning yourself to the will of another and killing any hope you held for the future? No, the Neyuta I knew would never let himself be turned into this. Now, your majesty, if you would hand down your verdict. Objection! Not. A. Freaking. Chance. You can say you're simply accepting your fate, Neyuta. But I know that deep down there is still hope in your heart. Oh, holy mother, preserve me. It's the kind of hope that perseveres through the most desperate of times. And it's what binds you, me, and Dirk together as a family. I know because this has demonstrated to me that you haven't lost all hope yet. Dirk's badge! Take that! His. When you interrogated Dirk, you confiscated all of his possessions as potential evidence. All except this. Did he take your attorney's badge too? No. I thought it strange, but just when it looked like he was going to take it from me, he changed his mind. So tell me, Neyuta, why didn't you take his badge? You couldn't bear to take it from him, could you? And I know why. It's because this badge means something special to us. Hey, Dirk! Why do you still wear your badge? You're not a lawyer anymore, right? This badge is my heart and soul, son. I'll never stop trying to realize my dream. Not until my very last breath. A dragon never yields. Dragon never yields, right? Exactly. 
Neuta, Apollo, I vow to restore Kurine's legal system to its rightful state one day. I want to pass on to you a world where you can live free from the fear of tyranny. You may say you've given up, but that's not how it really is, is it? You never gave up, and you never will because you still believe that all the wrongs will be righted someday, don't you? You are very perceptive, Mr. Justice. It may very well be as you say. Why did I not confiscate this badge? Even I did not know. Until now. Perhaps I was waiting for him to save me. Save you? Yes, save me. Like he did on that day. Neuta! Apollo! Hold on, I'm coming! What, f what father wouldn't risk his life to save his own children? Neuta? Apollo? Don't you ever hesitate to call when you need me. Understand? Someday, he would come and free our family from the chains of the past. Perhaps deep down, that is what I believe. I believed in Dirk, our father. Neuta, I knew you. However, it was but a dream. And now that dream has died. Murdered along with Dirk. So now as the eldest, the responsibility falls squarely onto me. No matter the cost, I must protect her. Please, try to understand, Apollo. Understand why I shall bear all this sin. It is the only way. But- Such insolence! God damn it! You have wasted more than enough of my time, lawyer. Do you not see the futility of your desperate floundering? The immutability of his duty? It is time to accept defeat. Urgh. <laughs> now watch as the hammer of justice comes down upon your dear brother. Your majesty, the verdict if you will. Yes, your eminence! Objection! No way! Wait a second! What do I do? Does the defense wish to raise an objection? Uh, um, there's gotta be some way to save Neuta. Apollo, it all goes back to that incident 23 years ago. It's branding him the son of a criminal. So if we could once and for all prove that Dirk didn't try to assassinate Amara, right, Neuta and Rafa's father would no longer be viewed as a criminal. But I thought there wasn't any evidence left, because it was all destroyed in the fire. And Dirk investigated the matter for years, but never managed to learn anything new. Really? Nothing at all? Could an exceptional lawyer like Dirk try that long and really uncover nothing at all? He had over two decades, Apollo. Huh? He's right. I doubt Dirk would have gone to his grave without discovering something new. He must have secretly planted something to topple Garan with somewhere. Take another look at the evidence. You just might find what we need to break out of the situation with it there. Got it. If the defense is done stalling for time, I shall now render my verdict. No, wait. About the assassination attempt 23 years ago. The defense has some new information it would like to share. You do? Hmm. While we had intended to deliberate that case in the course of this trial. Hmm. Dirk, did you leave something behind for me? Is there some connection I'm missing here? Very well then. What is the source of your new information about the case from 23 years ago? The photo of Apollo's dad, Jove Justice. Take that! A photograph? Yes. Do you recall the traveling musician who died in that fire 23 years ago? How could anyone forget such a painful chapter in our history? The poor fellow was caught up in the plays that was meant for Queen Amara. We never knew his identity, though, as his belongings were burnt to ashes. Well, 
about that. The truth is, he was my biological father. Oh. What? Why, of course. With his photo and her benevolence. Exactly. We might be able to prove Dirk completely innocent. And that would free her from the infamy of having criminal blood in her veins. Because here in Kurine, we can witness the final memories of the dead. What utter nonsense! There was no evidence left in the wake of that place. That's what you think. But Dirk went to the ends of the earth to bring this little souvenir back for us. He did? Yup, and boy is it the best piece of evidence ever. He knew that with it, we'd finally be able to conclusively settle the matter here in court and save his children. Your Majesty, the defense requests that we hold a divination seance for this new victim. Objection. God damn it! What a waste of time! The events of 23 years past have already been deliberated at length. Objection. Oh, screw you! But wasn't Dirk on trial for that incident as well today? So we wouldn't be doing our jobs if we failed to look into this new lead, would we? Ah! As the presiding judge, I will now share my thoughts on the matter. The attempted assassination of Queen Amara is a case we can ill afford to leave open. And I believe that the final memories of the victim will prove to be very important. Therefore, it is the opinion of this court that we should conduct another divination seance. Why you? Your benevolence? If you knew the full name of the victim seen in this photo, you'd be able to perform a divination seance, right? Of course. Leave it to me. Thank you. My father's full name is... Joe Justice. All right. Now, your benevolence, please commence the divination seance when you're ready. Oh, Holy Mother, we hold this divination seance in your name. Let the eyes of everyone here be clear, and our ears be unstopped. O oh, dance of devotion, guide the victim's soul to me, so that we may receive their final memories in the pool of souls.